Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hunt some Sky Temple Keys. I want some Sky Temple Keys. That's essentially what we're doing today. We are not only getting, well, not all of them, but we'll, we'll, we'll save one for the end. A majority, I believe, is a proper word for it. There's one of the temple grounds we'll get at the very end. Is like, you know, a little little little, little hat on top, little, little cap everything off. You know, a little Andy's mint on your pillow at a hotel. But what we are getting today are the Sky Temple Keys in the other portions of the map. Oh. As well as the rest of the pickups. Just... It's what I've been waiting for. That's right. It's just that nice little bow on top where you're just like, oh, everything's finished. Excellent. So, of course, all of the uh, Sky Temple keys are located in the Dark World. Naturally. So might as well make our way over there. Head on over to the Dark World, see if we can't get a room. Ow. Ow. Oh, my God. The, the light suit contrasted on the dark matter that we're going through is very, very nice. So... This next uh, Sky Temple key we're getting. Yes. Uh, there's there's two of them. It is J still and B still. Okay, fine. You're not Jing still. D well, d fine. Just d do I do like a J with my arm and then just hold it? You gotta put a little thing on top. Uh, okay. I got you though. I got you. Okay. Oh, yep. There we go. Anyway. Jay Still's clue is his lo he lost his soul before a fortress in the scorched land. A lot of fire? So before a fortress. Before the desert. Which means that he's before the fortress. Before four. Just outside the pirate fortress, essentially. Oh, right! I think I remember that guy. And B still, he, uh, she lies deep in a fortress of dry land. Which would imply that she is inside the fortress. Makes perfect sense. So we have one outside the fortress and one deep inside the fortress. We're gonna get the one that's deep inside the fortress first, because there's a couple of things we gotta pick up along the way while you, we're here. Do you ever think B still ever got made fun of? Like, a couple jagoffs like us just go, Why don't you be still for us? Well, I don't know. I don't really speak Luminoth. I don't think that English uh, insults will work the same way. But however, maybe there's something way dirtier in Luminoth that almost sounds like B still. Oh, maybe. Like, oh, look who it is. It's B still the free still. <gasps> Dude! Don't say that! No! <laughs> you don't say that! You don't do that! It's not nice! There's something over there. I want that. Yes! Oh, there's Phazon everywhere, by the way. Nope, that's... Well, yeah, there's uh, Phazon, but also Ingstorm. Oh! Uh, and also Inglets that are just gonna make things hard for me. I do like how the, the light beam is now properly vaporizing everything that it touches. So to clarify, you could technically, what? if you knew where everything was, oh. get some of these uh, Sky Temple keys first. A lot of them rely on the dark visor, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all... Like, this one here is in the poison water, which you need to have the, the light suit for. Mm -hmm. So the game does whatever it can to make sure that when you're getting the Sky Temple keys, you're already ready to finish the game already. And it gives you context to these testaments and clues you've been having, too, so... I still think, in my heart of hearts, that the reason they made the Sky Temple Keys available this late in the game, instead of doing, you know, what Metroid Prime 1 did, is so you could go back and prep for war, get the rest of your collectibles. To go to all those places again and be like, oh, hey, you forgot this. Oh, Ex hey. Exactly. It's a, it's a perfect way to get to do, like, a final once-over. I will say that kind of lowers the replay replayability in my book because having to do all this again just seems yeah. it's it's not too bad. I'd like to get it all the first time is what I'm getting at. It's it's not too bad. At least I don't think so. Got to be careful here because he's still got that open pit of phase on. That's, you know, yeah. But I want to eat the delicious space cancer. And, you know, I think the space cancer will eat you, son. Oh, well, I've always enjoyed a challenge with food. Gotta get, oh, no! I donked, I, I, I keep donking with this stupid screw attack. I mean, it's it's fine, it's great, I'm just a bad gamer. And then somebody throws you against the wall and all of a sudden everything Samus just collected just falls apart. It's like Homer putting together a grill and just falls apart. Oh, by the way. Hello, beautiful! 
we will probably never use this, but here it is. I at least want to see it once. Hey, what's that move in Street Fighter? Hadouken! No, the other one. Uh, how's this in Pukin? Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! <laughs> I was gonna say spinning bird kick, but, you know, this is a close second. <laughs> I think I got that move completely wrong. Tachimaki Simbuke! I think Sam's gonna do a really killer, uh, spinning bird kick. I think it would work. I mean, she's got the Chozo armor, she can flex all over the place. Chozo armor plus long legs equals, ow, I wouldn't want to be kicked by that. <laughs> ow! Bitch! Why? I want to see the Sonic Boom. At least once. Yeah, we, yeah, we will. It it takes thirty from each though, and it's you know, it it can do a lot of damage, but I don't like using it. I mean, I took a look at that, and it looked like it shattered not only the sound barrier, but it looked like it shattered the dimension. Essentially, yeah, it's like break. It's like literally breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> okay, can I talk about Broly for a second? <laughs> Just because oh, seeing seeing the the Sonic Boom actually reminded of this. Did they literally? fight each other into a different dimension? Yes. That was fucking sweet! <laughs> okay, that's all, I, that's all I want to say on it, because if you haven't seen it, go watch it, but my god, it's so cool. Sorry I'm so slow on the uptake. Holy shit, that was so cool. I haven't seen the new one yet. Which one's- oh, uh, Su Super... Dragon Ball Super Superhero, why do they name it like that? I'm so <laughs> mad. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Yeah, we're not redundant over here. What are you talking about? Superhero. Superhero. Uh, super, super. It's super, super duper. Anyway, we're gonna get the second uh, Sky Temple key. It's a little, little tricky, this one. Show me. So, yes, it is indeed outside the fortress. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, right here. Ooh. Homing? Well, that's a nice feature. I'm trying to shoot that thing, but uh, the, I... anni the Annihilator Beam uh, has different plans. Ow. Definitely want to take out these guys first, one way or another. You can hit them in sludge form? Uh-huh. Ooh, Oreo Beam, I love you. Oreo Beam? Oreo Beam. Oh, Oreo Beam. I said Oreo Beam. Like a delicious cookie. I thought it because it was like garlic to these uh, vampiric uh, things. Well, looking at the dark visor here, we have platforms upon platforms, and there's our Sky Temple right there in the distance. Hurry up, will you? If you fall, you gotta go all the way back. Oh no. I, cu I couldn't find any way back up, because these platforms are just out of reach where you need to go from that upper balcony to reach them. How's your platforming skills? Well... Have they gotten better since Prime 1? Well... <laughs> you've, 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 you've seen how I played so far. Pretty good, pretty how good. Th how do you think I am? Check it. Oh my god, I can't believe it! First time, first time, first time! Pretty good, I'd say. What do you yeah. mean second take? I don't know what you're talking about. There's, there's no need for a second take, we're good. There's our third... Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, um, uh, there's hey, a third there's Sky a third Temple key. key. We are our fourth. Our fourth. I fourth forgot, key. Forgot that All right, cool. Great. Yeah. And now to escape this wretched hive of scum and villainy. With pleasure. What other space references can we add to this? Because I noticed a lot of sci-fi bar borrows from other sci-fi. Well, e either as a nod or just a well, MacGuffin. Because we all live in space, and, you know, it's good to know where we are in space. It's the final frontier, dude. Like, if you uh, open up a sci-fi thing, it's like, Long, long ago, in the Muldron Galaxy, in the Slingtor region of the Smegdorgan oh, Nebula. Yeah. Oh, I love Smegdorgan and uh, Nebula. 250 light years from the Milky Way Galaxy. Oh, oh there I know. Okay, all right, yeah, okay, there we yeah, go. All right, yeah, I get it. Uh, you should have taken a left at that last satellite. No, we don't want to be in Smegdorfin Nebula. I'm I know where I'm going. No, look, do, do you want me to call and ask for directions, or do, do we... I, okay, I'll, I'll just let you drive, it's okay. <laughs> no, but seriously, that guy back at the gas station really wanted to help us out, and I think you should have taken the directions from Do you want to get off here? Oh, what? Uh, hang on, I'm getting a call. 
Oh, it's it's just telling me that, no. hey, you should go to the sky... I, I, yes, I know, I'm on it, I'm working on it. I don't need directions! I, I got it, I'm fine, thank you, OnStar, but I don't need... <laughs> Put Do people on, use, still use OnStar? They put OnStar in her suit. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that you've lost all of your power-ups. Would you like to call an ambulance? No, I got it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. This, God damn it, Adam. This is where we get the, resur uh, the resurgence of smart-ass Samus. It's like, we, we see you seem to be uh, in burning lava. He's like, no shit. It's like, yes, I know. Cancel. Wow. Cancel. Cancel call. Cancel distress call. Yes, I know it can't be put through. Yes, I know there's interference! Cancel! God. You know, we've dealt with complete system failure in her suit. Why not viruses that just annoy her? Like, she gets a little bit of spyware and it all of a sudden gets, like, a desktop assistant. It's like the app that she has to use in order to get paid by the Federation. <laughs> that's that's so the malware. So that it she keeps has chiming in. It's like, as long as she has it on, it's always, like, telling her things. It's like, yes, I know, I know. I'm just imagining she's she's looking through her visor and all of a sudden you see Bonzi Buddy on, on her, on her hey, format. Simon, would you like to hear a joke? Get out of here, Bonzi Buddy. Delete, 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 delete. You won't need this where we're going. Uh-oh. And where we're going is the Torvis Bog. I like Torvis. We're, we're going for, uh, let's see, Estli. <laughs> Beside the marsh of a reigning land, she laid her body forever. Estelai just sounds like a new drug. Hey, yo, man, you got some Estelai? Nah, I'm only got some J-Still. <laughs> J-Still! <laughs> so, looking at his clue, it's 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 beside the Marshall Rainland. Uh, she laid her body forever. Do you remember when we first got here, there was a dead Luminop right outside? Yes. We gotta go there. Oh, okay, that seems pretty simple. It is pretty simple. And we're also... Looking at the map, I think we're gonna get other uh, power up on the way. Oh, get on the sick half pipe, bro. Look at you with these moves. Yeah, yeah. Simple one, two, go. Call up Tony Hawk, whatever he looks like, and just say, your career is over, man. I haven't gotten far enough in remaster to see if they fixed the ball physics yet. Ooh, that'd be interesting. That might be a game changer, honestly. Yeah, a little bit. Didn't you also play the first version of it, though, just to compare and contrast? Yes. Okay, well. And yeah, whenever I see people talking about Metroid, Prim uh, Metroid Prime Remastered, it's always Trilogy. I see them going to the Morph Ball and they're jumping around. I'm like, mm -hmm. you, got, you don't know what it's like, you kids. You weren't there on day one like I was. Or maybe you were. I don't know. You might have been. You know, now that I'm thinking back on it, I don't think I ever got a day one release GameCube game. Never? Never. I mean, like, I was never there at the store to pick something up. I had always read about it in magazines and TV commercials. I was never there on day one. It's either that or I never had any money, because an allowance wasn't a thing. Well, once you got money to buy a game, yeah, then just... all of a sudden, ooh, what's, what's the latest, hottest game now? Wow! That was a great feeling. And now I buy just way too many fucking video games that I don't play. I've been trying to clear the backlog of mine. Maybe that's what my 2023 year should be. That's what I'm doing on mine. I think I've, I've already beat seven games so far. Jesus, man. I think I've only beaten like one. <laughs> and it was a game that we LP'd. <laughs> I'm not counting the LP ones, though. Oh, I know. I, I just like that as soon as we beat Link's Awakening, I went back and beat it in like three days because I really enjoyed it and I wanted to see what happens when you get 100%. But you did see. We, we let's play it. We got the final ending, and I just wanted to see that item Tori screen completely filled. That's all. Uh, my completionist heart was just like, he really, yeah. he really, really wanted that bottle. I really wanted it. I also wanted. No! To, I also wanted to see the screen of the, you know, all twenty hearts, this the, works out. the boomerang plus the shovel. That was great. This works out down here. Do you remember that one? Missile expansion that was like here in that little corner. Yeah, yeah. With like the the venom weeds, and we had to get like the gravity suit. Well, <laughs> oh, it's where a sky temple key is. Well, would you look at that? Isn't that just the most amazing thing? Oh, it is. Sky temple key, venom weed. These are starting to sound like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> All right, now we got to go back to our favorite part of Torvus Bog. Oh, the one where we are out of the water and completely able to jump around everywhere and don't need the rocket pack. It's G shish. 
With a bearer pod, he sleeps in a flooded temple. Oh my god, that, that sounds like the noises you were making when we recorded Donkey Kong Country. Uh, gee sheesh. <laughs> gee sheesh. Gee sheesh. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, okay? We can't all have amazing days! Well, we can if we want it hard enough. <laughs> I just didn't want it hard enough. Because I'm always an amazing player who's perfect and that's the wrong way. <laughs> that was a, uh, that was a very clear way of a setup and payoff. That was a timing joke is what that was. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh you get, you get out of my way. Hi. Hitting these Sky Temple cases is about the most, like, backtracky of backtrack that uh, this game really gets. How many backtrack episodes have we had? Like, four? Um... This being the fourth? Yeah, you know, a couple here and there. It's really to beef us up, because, trust me, the this last parts of the game are gonna test to see how much you actually have. Well, we got all the E-tanks, so that's good. We only have, what, two missile tanks left? I think so. And I'm gonna guess two powerbomb tanks? Actually... We got the last one, just just back there. Oh, power bombs! So we have we have all the beam expansions. We have all the like optional pickups. I really think there's only two missiles left. Holy hell! All right, that's what I'm talking about, friend. So let's go get them. So are we actually getting all the Sky Temple keys in this episode? Except for one. Except for one. Okay. Be because I'm. I, I, I could have got it earlier, but I didn't. It's all right. It's all right. I wanted to. I wanted to have like some finality for when we actually do go open the yeah. sky temple. It's like, all right, we got the last one. Now stop beating around the bush and get right to it. So you never get all the items you need. You need to, you know, parse it out a bit. Just be like on the next exciting episode of Metroid Prime Two. Trust me, it's all planned out. I got it. I got it all planned out. It's all in here in the brain and also on the notepad that you got there. It's all in here. It's all in the notepad. It's all in my brain notepad it's all my notepad brain my notepad notepad and the notepad on the brain notepad and this napkin that has the source of all life on it and also this whiteboard I drew my actual brain on and also my brain here I have my hand oh it's not my brain it's just it's just a brain that I call mine you know this this belongs to me mine but I don't know where I got it from, but, you know, it's it's mine now. Just throw it in the pile. It's my brain. <laughs> that was a good splort sound. <laughs> very, very good sound effect. Well, I don't think it'd make a thud sound, would it? <laughs> oh. it seems your brain's calcified. Got a bad case of rock brain <laughs> there. <laughs> hey, my uncle had rock brain. Oh, man. We called him Flint. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey! uh, he's dead now. Nah, rip in peace. We buried him. We used his own head to bury him in gravel. <laughs> we carved his name into his brain for a tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew he was hard-headed. Oh. Damn it! God damn it! I was just about to say that. Oh, Uncle Flint, we'll miss you in the dark world, friend. <sighs> Next time I get stoned, I'll think of you. <laughs> Just how they buried Fred Flintstone. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of these guys. These guys suck. I hate them. Well, I think you just vaporized one of them. After you blew their ass off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. Get over here. Fuck off. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, yeah. Not done. Not done. Uh. I've got no time. I've got Metroids. I got Sky Temple keys. I got, I got you most breathing down my neck. I got time to deal with you guys. All right, let's, let's take a swim. You got a new scan. It's the Watch Drone! Oh. We have scanned everything on the light side of ether. Wow. So these guys just shoot a beacon and they're like, Oh, I don't like that. Hey! Hey, I'm out of here. What's up? Later. There. That's easy. Simple enough. Get a little bit of the uh, light beam ammo back. There's another one. Hey! Yeah, I don't like that. I'm getting out of here. here. Bye. Yeah. That hurts a little bit. And it oh. should be around here. Actually, yeah, that does make sense that it, that it wouldn't like it. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why does it do that? Is it just because it's not dark anymore? I, I think it's to signify that, hey, you don't need your dark visor anymore. You can see it now. Gotcha. So it just activates a blinding light in your visor. 
that which will make you switch visors. Yeah. Hey, okay. looky there. Unless you just want to be blind the entire time. You know, I'm not ready for that kind of challenge run. Metroid Prime 2, blind. Literally. Like, he's literally blind. I can't see! Am I getting hurt? Oh, God. And I don't mean he's been blind since birth. I mean, I meant we stabbed his eyes out this morning. They're still fresh. Why do I want to play video games? I gotta get to a hospital! How can I play Metroid Prime 2? I don't know this game! What's Metroid? I don't know! We just pulled a random guy off the street and stabbed his eyes out. It's like, all right, play this video game. What? what? Oh, God, we got a deaf guy. Oh, man, I got banned from Live Leak. What do you mean I can't come back to TwitchCon? I have a challenge run to do. <laughs> so, time for one of the last two missile upgrades. It's through this gray door. What a mystery it was when we first saw it. Watch Ooh. and be amazed. Watch and be amazed. It's a bomb jumping puzzle. Oh, good. We all love those. Don't we, though? One. Ooh, I, I love that ten, that sexy ten right. next to your power bombs there. Oh, man. They don't really have any markings for this one. You really just gotta kind of know. Like that. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I won't say it's easy. It just wasn't that bad of a jump. It's a little, it's a little easy. This one's, this one's pretty forgiving. You're not penalized heavily if you mess up. How do you know if they're activated? I guess I can't see the notification. Well, it's kind of in how Samus feels. Like here, like she, uh, like you can you can kind of see that when the water's pushing down almost. Mm -hmm. But also, if she gets kind of stiff around those places, you know, it's pushing it's pushing down. And when you're over here, it kind of like you know floats a little bit. And there you go, for right, right there. You know, nice trick. You know, no big deal, no big deal. Missile, missile, missile. Mine, 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 mine. All right. Yes. There's one more to go! Oh my god, what are we gonna do with all these missiles? We're gonna head to Sanctuary Fortress to get the last one! And blast them all. That's actually where we're heading right now. We're gonna we're gonna go make a beeline to the last missile upgrade. The last one. I know. Man. It's too bad it's not the last Metroid because someone wanted to clone them! This is why we can't have nice Metroid things. This is why it took so long to get Dread. Because people kept cloning Metroids. And she kept blowing them all up. It's like introducing a brand new line of Metroid... <laughs> oh, come on! New from Hasbro, a new Metroid Prime... <laughs> Never mind. Stop making Metroids, you assholes! God! And she kicks a table. <laughs> Just a random table. Wasn't even important. Didn't even have any toys on it. Just flips a table. Sick of all you always making that right. Stop it! Stop it! Well, what if we make a figure of you? No! Not even of you. No! How about of Adam Malkovich? Our, mm. Okay. Does he give you permission to make one of him? <laughs> And she gives a thumbs down, which shows her complete and total approval of the process. Alright, toss out the blueprints, we'll just make a Samus figure. Oh no, P please man, we're talking about Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> well, what else is there to talk about? We got temple keys and we got missiles. We're gonna go get the last missile though, that's that's pretty major. That's pretty hype. Let's let's get hype, come on, do a little dance, that's make pretty a little cool, noise, dude. get down tonight, and boogie, uh, something. Come to my Metroid theme party, where we'll have little, uh, uh quiches that look like missile packs. Metroid quiche. <laughs> Were there any, like, otherworldly commercials? Just, like, crazy Nintendo commercials that came out when Metroid Prime did? I think there was one where she was dancing. No, no wait, that's the Zelda one. But, yeah, there's been some cool Japanese ones. I, yeah. I remember one, uh, it was a, it was a US one for Zero Mission. It's a girl doing gymnastics and she's like kicking ass. Oh yeah, I have and seen the, that and, one. And then she ends by doing like some like crazy space yeah. jump off it and lands all superhero like. It's like, who are you? It's like, well, I see what Samus did in high school. Nice. Yeah, that's a good way to hype up your, your Metroid game, your Metroid remake, I should say. And, you know, people kind of like Zero Mission, don't they? 
I don't know about you, I loved Zero Mission. Zero Mission was one of the best Metroids ever made. It was the only Metroid game I had finished up to that point. It's a great place to start. Don't judge. Did we get the map for this place? Oh god, did we? I think we did. I hope we did. Yeah, yeah, we got the map for this place. Okay. But what about this? Ah. Take me. Take me away to the place where I go. Where were you when she took the light of God to heaven or to the last missile pack? Do -do! Hey! That gives you a total of 255. That's five from the missile expansion itself and five from the seeker missile, and that is 100% of all pickups! I didn't miss one! Yes! Just imagine if there was a hidden missile pack like there was in Super Metroid, collect that, and it just doesn't doesn't overflow. It rolls back. Your, your completion back. is zero percent. No! Samus, Samus actually puts on a Victorian dress over her suit. <laughs> just that, that's your ending scene as her in a Victorian dress, and she's like, and then a shame. jacket, and then a fedora, so you can't even see her face, and then a cloak, and then a hooded cloak, just some earmuffs, and, and then put on some gloves, and, and then everything. a burka over all of that. It's just like, okay, I don't think this is what I signed up for. It's like, how bad did I do? It's like, oh, your time rolled over, too. Yeah, I can't believe it took you 10,000 hours to finish this game. Jesus, the worst like, player in Metroid history. It's supposed to be a three-hour game. What, did you leave Did you leave it on? Like, for years? Just figuring out what to do? Have you ever done that to a game, by the way? Just leave it on? Only really one. That was Super Smash Bros. Melee. For the Mewtwo cheat. For the cheat. Mewtwo cheat. It took two nights. That? Of, of, of worried sleep over, is my GameCube gonna explode? But nope, it, it's, you know, GameCube is a, one of the strongest consoles ever ever produced, I'd say. Yeah, I, I think that was the only time I've ever done it too because of my traumatic Mario 64 experience. <laughs> where it overheated and crashed the game, scared the bejesus out of me. I thought my game was truly broken. But, no, nope, just overheated. You see, when a disc-based console messes up, it kind of goes, Oopsie, there's a problem! Hey, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna shut up now, bye. But for those old cartridge-based ones, it's like, ah, IT'S OVERHEATED! OH GOD! TAX TAX! Yeah, it corrupted the audio, too! I was like, WHAT HAPPENED?! <laughs> it's like, oh god! Oh god, Master Nintendo, I'm sorry! Please don't hit me! <laughs> it took me forever to go back to Shifting Sandland, because that's what I thought broke my console. Oh no. So now, we are at S. Jers and Search. Yeah, I guess. I thought you were going to like a more serious tone. It's just like, okay, now it's time to get serious. I mean, a little bit serious. I mean, back to the game at hand here. Also, what was that name? Serger? Uh, S. Jers. S. Jers? And Search. S. Jers, he no longer breathes, looking down at the great bridge of a holy fortress. And if you remember, uh, at the entrance of the Sanctuary Fortress, there was a dead Luminoth lying up high. Which means we need to go to a yet unexplored part of the Ing Hive, and go to the actual entrance. Seems doable, especially with our now complete loadout. Doesn't this look familiar? Oh yeah, we haven't wow. been here yet. Wow. Wow! You know, it's, it's great how things work like that. And there's even a recharge room where the map room would be, and even a save station over here. But there's really not a lot here in terms of critical path. Save for the lone Sky Temple Key. So it is literally here for the Sky Temple Key and a place to save your progress. Yes. That's fantastic. I mean, why would you want to come to the entrance? Oh, God! Whoa! 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> As uh, they jump into your face! Th these are Ing Lava Swarm. I don't know, those look like leeches from Resident Evil Zero. I see what I want to see, thank you. Uh, uh, Alright, well, okay. Especially with the face jumping thing. <laughs> Near as I can tell, that's the only time you can scan them. Wait, what? I never, I never saw them anywhere else. Uh-oh, so just in there. Maybe, I mean, I, I think they do come back, but, like, only in that one room, I mean. Purple haze all in my mind. <laughs> I don't know. Samus strikes me as a Hendrix fan. Those long days of, uh... Of, oh, God. Fuck. 
Dude, it was, long, it was long days of, you know, riding out on the open road. I'm pretty sure she could, like, you know, like, yes. air guitar to those things. Yes. Spanish guitar music. Girl, let me get your Spotify. Please, I want to hear what you're rocking out to. Don't but no! <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it, too. Oh, just, just straight shot me, bucko. Here okay, we go. All right, go. <laughs> ah, Jump too late. Ah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Perfect. I was waiting for another doink off of nothing. <laughs> it's, it just it just seems poetic. All right, another beam of light. Again, ensuring that we need the light suit in order to get these Sky Temple keys. Because ah! we can't get up here any other way. The three glowing, uh, four glowing holes on her chest. Are the four? They, oh, oh, well, going back down. All right, I, here I, we go. I, I backed up looking to get a running jump, and I backed up right <sighs> into the light, and then the game assumed, okay, I guess you don't want that thing. I do want that thing! Let me back, please! It's like getting force kicked out of a program. Oh. Well, anyway. So, uh, those beams of light on her front and back, what do you suppose the purpose of those are? I think those are the energy controllers. Oh, well, you think so? That's basically what's housing the energy of, of ether that she's collected. Ah, I like the theory, yeah. Did you know that's actually where she stores her Spotify playlist? <laughs> Just rocking out the entire time. Four, five, okay, got it. Nailed it. Hey, there he is. Ah! Just a bright flashing light. That's how my mom used to wake me up for school. It's just turn a the bright light. flashing light. Yeah, turning oh. the light on. Oh, I thought she like t took a flashlight and just wake up, you. Yeah, yeah br brought my dad's floodlight and just was like, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> it's so bright, so bright. All right, there we go. Well, uh, we got one more Sky Temple key we're gonna get. The last one here in Sanctuary Fortress, and this one is, uh... Uh, Sea Urch. In a small corridor within the depths of a high fortress, he lies silently. The depths. What's the deepest point of the fortress you can think of? Uh, death. Tr okay, uh, uh, let's uh, get a little less metaphorical and a bit more uh, geographical. Uh, the save room where you can overlook the city. Uh, that looks pretty open to me, not very deep. Uh, how about where we fought Dark Samus? Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's in the atrium. That's very, very high up, oh, not shoot. deep. Uh, maybe, uh, right here. Uh, no, this is the center of it, not really deep. Uh, I'm at a loss. How about where we fought the spider guardian? You know? That may just be low enough. There is a power, uh, a, a power bomb door we have not yet opened after we got the spider ball. <gasps> That's right! So that is oh. where we are heading! Oh, nice! So it's kind of hard to screw attack back over there. You kind of need to use this platform here to... Maneuver your that way over sense. there. <laughs> sure. There. There. Perfectly fine. It's because it's a triangle, it's kind of blocked off at the top, so if you try and screw attack, you will guaranteed hit Thunk. the arches of that. You need, like, something more open to pass through. It's too bad you can't do, like, a panic jump out of the screw attack. Yeah, you're kind of locked into it. It kind of betrays the the initial freedom that the 2D screw attack had. But uh, it is here. It is it is pretty damn effective. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not complaining that much. <laughs> no, just visualizing Samus doing, like, as she's training to learn how to use the screw attack, she just has the arm out going, Hey! <laughs> Oh no. Ah, uh, it's all coming back. Isn't this looking familiar? Yes. Back to where we once were. We're gonna need to get in there from the light world, though. So, you were telling me something, speaking of the screw attack. Yes. You were telling me something about how it was uh, kind of a programming issue of doing the first person, third person thing, and what they wanted to do with the final product. Yeah. It's like, basically, if they said if they couldn't get the first or third person perspective for the morph ball taken care of, then there's no point. But I think what they managed to do by, uh, kind of swapping out, like, GoldenEye style, mm -hmm. I think that was, that was the right, that was the right move. Oh, GoldenEye style, that's a great way to put it. Oh, shoot. Slappers only, Samus. <laughs> I mean, it, it it makes sense, because oh, yeah. in first person, that's of course for direct combat, and uh, for third person, it kind of zooms out for more explore, exploration type deal. Mm -hmm. 
now that they figured that out, they realize, well, wait, we can now do stuff like screw attack now, so yeah. they threw that in there, too. Oh, we're way out here. We're here at the temple. Yeah. Heading to the Spider Guardian. Whoa. D what? <laughs> ah, yes. It all comes back. I'm glad you know where you're going, because I have no idea. Even though I'm playing Metroid Prime Remastered, that map still gives me trouble sometimes. Well, you just gotta kinda know, and of course I practiced beforehand, so it's still kinda in my mind. Oh yeah, here we are. Aw, a little, little child came here. Just just wanted some, some friends, since it's, you took away their main friend. It's like a whole bunch of pill bugs lived here, and then the spider guardian came in. Messed everything up, and now that he's gone, it's like, oh, finally, thanks, thanks, guy. Oh, that actually, you know what? That's the happy ending I want. It's too bad they're in my way, and they gotta die. But they only have four power bombs, so I'm they did also just like smack you upside the head as you pass by. As <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost passed the door there. Oops. <laughs> Please don't crash the game. We're so close. All right, here we are. Yes. Luckily, the Sky Temple key is like right, right here. here. It's yes. Warm. Ah, hello everyone. We're here, getting the Sky Temple key. Let's go. I like this one though. Whoa! It's over there. Can just whoop. Yep. Okay, take him out from here actually. Oh, we're gonna have to do some ball jumps. Yes, we are. Oh. And the rail is behind you. Making you work for it a little bit. You whoa, whoa. Hello. Let's not go crazy here. And this one over here. Take me to the... Oh, there. Take me to the river. Launch me in the water. There. Got it. Take me to the temple. So now... We have essentially everything except for that one final Sky Temple key over in Temple Grounds. Which so is easy right, to get. right where we need to be. Where we need to be for the Sky Temple itself. Thank you for saving that for last. Because it'll just be right there. Pick it'll, it up. It'll all work out, but right now I'm going to make a beeline to the, to the nearest save station here in the Light World. So we can just make our way right back to the Temple Grounds and go from there. It's all wrapping up. I can't believe it. So what do you, th what do you think about the logbook situation, though? Uh, I didn't exactly see your percentages, but I saw a 91 at a certain point. It's it's getting up there, but uh, that's the thing. 99 is way more disheartening than, you know, 100%, yeah. Alright. And since I know you're technically done recording for this, I don't like that sound. Did you do it? Well... Are you winning? There's still some things we have to get. Okay, they have to be in that last area then. They have to be. Otherwise, panic, That'll, distress. Yep, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we got everything. I've been checking and, you know, it's... I, I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need. It'll be the biggest sigh of relief when you hit those end credits. Percentage, 100%. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. <clears throat> oh, oh, sure. Isn't that one of the Luminoths? <laughs> oh, dearest, oh, sure. <laughs> that was a healer like no other. Oh, so, sure. Yeah, what was the name of the last one we got? Uh, it was Sea Urch. Oh, uh, what section was Sea Urch in? Sea Urch was in the Hive Cache. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> Which section was Sea Urchin? <laughs> Quit acting like a beach. <laughs> yes! Next time on Metroid Prime 2, we're gonna put things to an end! Getting 100%, baby! That includes Luminoth Energy. Ooh! Show it off. Show, Show it off the sonic boom as well. Show me. Show me. Uh, yeah. oh, See, look at that. It shatters reality. It's basically breaking the texture that the you shoot it at. It's the Phantom Zone. Uh, oh, this is so fucking cool, dude. Uh, 
Yes! That's so cool! And and that's all. Oh, there he goes there. See you next time.